And the discovery of nine oriental fruit flies in Rancho Cordova has authorities in eradication mode. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is getting answers on why it is such a concern. These non-native oriental fruit flies are found in Asia, Hawaii, and Africa, and now California. It could potentially be things that are brought back with people when they've gone out of the country on trips. They wanted to bring back a souvenir, didn't realize they had hitchhikers in it. They are serious pests, eating over 230 different fruits and vegetables. Things like grapes, stone fruits, citrus, dates, avocados, tomatoes, and peppers. Larva gets inside the fruit or vegetable and is relatively undetectable from the outside. So that makes it very hard to determine where it is. Right now, they've only been found in urban areas, and authorities want to keep it that way. That's why they're instating a quarantine spanning 81 square miles, surveying and setting out traps. For every new fruit fly located within one square mile, a hundred more traps are set out. These traps is an attractant. Males fly in, are stunned, and drop onto the glue below, stopping the reproductive cycle. How long will they do this? CBS 13 is getting answers. The Department of Agriculture says they'll continue to test and trap for three life cycles. The amount of time depends on the daily day temperature. The hotter it is, the faster the larvae matures. So winter might mean a longer quarantine period. Some good news? We don't expect that this will get worse before it gets better. It can't happen fast enough, say ag industry sources. Pesticides and protocols to protect against the invasive species can cost tens of thousands of dollars. So if farmers want to apply a preventative treatment before a quarantine goes into effect in your area, you can contact the Sacramento County Department of Agriculture.